Now, from across the Tri-State, this is KHQA Sports. Well, it is a super busy Tuesday night right here, so we have no choice but to play the lightning round, and we'll start with softball in Northeast Missouri. Canton, state bound last year in the Final Four, taking on Clopton to start things off. Olivia Jarvis on the hill and looking very Olivia Jarvis-like early on with the strikeout, and she would get plenty of run support in this one. Bottom of the third, Canton breaks out to a one to nothing lead behind Brianna Caldwell right here with the RBI single to center. Made it one to nothing Tigers at that point. They're not done. Two to nothing at this point when Allison Phillips does her part with a big smack to left right here. Another run comes home to score. Makes it three to nothing in favor of Canton. And then Olivia Jarvis helping her own cause bringing in the three run double right here as Canton wins it. 10 to nothing in short order in five innings tonight. Meanwhile, Bowling Green and Highland going at it. Pre-game, Highland paid homage to its 2005 state championship team, trying to make it a great night all the way around. Dana Flanagan on the hill, almost unhittable for the first five innings for the Lady Cougars with a nice strikeout there. Bottom of the first, this is Autumn Floria laying down the bunt. And the throw gets away. Amber Garner would come all the way home to score, making it one to nothing in favor of Highland at that point. Madison Ingram, she's good. Very impressive on the hill for Bowling Green. Getting out of the jam early with a strikeout right here. Top of the fifth then. Bowling Green would break through, break through in this one. Mallory Feldy brings home a couple right here for the Lady Bobcats. It's a three-run double to left. That was the difference in the ball game in this one as Highland falls to Bowling Green tonight by the final count of four to three. In other softball today, it was Monroe City beating Mark Twain 11 to three. Knox County over Novager 20 to three. Also Marion County big night over Bevere with a 19 to one win and Louisiana all over Ellsbury seven to one as a big night from Autumn Castagna in a three for four effort at the plate. Let's do some volleyball tonight as well. Unity Payson taking on right here. Grigsville Perry Bailey Stain for Grigsville Perry with a nice start in this one for her squad, but it would be all unity from that point forward. Kaylee Kuhn throwing down the thunder right there. And then how about some Amanda Schrader standing up strong at the net, laying down the ferocious lumber right there, made it 10 to six at that point, or 10 to three, I should say. And then the serving fun began for the Lady Mustangs. First, that was Piper Obert. Then how about a little bit more of Miss Kaylee Kuhn in this one, gonna set up and set it down pretty niftily in this ball game right there for her. And then more serving fun from the Unity Lady Mustangs as Claire Raby delivers the ace as well. Jordan Hildebrink with a big block to end it as Unity would win for Seth Klusmeyer in straight games over Grigsville Perry. Final count in this one was 25-12, 25-17. Now onto those pace and highlights as we take you to the pace and showdown tonight with Rushville Industry early on in this one. Rushville showing some moxie courtesy of Grace Bartlett who's going to go up strong and come down with a nice hit right there for her squad. Josie Stanford and company, though, had other ideas. Got to love the big middle hitter for the Pace and Seymour Lady Indians as she does her thing right here, whipping it down and whipping it down hard for her ball club. Then some serving fun as well from the Lady Indians. Jessica Glass with a nice bit of service action there. And Kayla Mellon delivering an ace as well as Pace and Seymour gets the win tonight. Two games to none. Glass with three aces. Stanford with eight kills in the night for her squad as well. On to the scoreboard now. We've got Beardstown beating North Fulton in three games tonight. It was West Prairie too much for Brimfield in the home opener for the Lady Cyclones. Route wins over Brown County in straight games 25-21, 25-12. In three games tonight it was Triopia beating Pleasant Hill 25-15, 12-25, 25-20 and Illini West over Central in three games as well. We've got a little Hannibal volleyball for you tonight as well. The Lady Pirates go on the road tonight and they would be taking on Columbia Hickman in this one, early on in this ball game, I'll tell you what, Hannibal had some very nice moments in this one as the Lady Pirates ended up getting a team high uh, in kills tonight from Kaylee Murphy and had 13 digs tonight from Anna Murphy, albeit in a losing cause tonight, losing to Columbia Hickman, 25-21, 25-23 were your finals there. Let's do some soccer tonight, pick it up right here. Q&D, that's freshman Colby Cap with his first varsity assist, kicking it over to Cole Hayes, who would punch one home, capping off what would be a 6 to nothing victory tonight by the Raiders as they get that done and get it done effectively, beating Hannibal on the road in their home opener. Again, 6 to nil 
was your final. On the scoreboard tonight, some soccer to pass along. Jacksonville way too much today for Lanfear. That's an impressive opener as Jacksonville will come to the Q&D tournament coming up this weekend. Also in the docket in golf at the Westview Quad today. Quincy High is your winner. Crystal Bergtorf once again your medalist firing a 40 today for the Blue Devils. Also in girls golf today, Porta knocks off Camp Point Central by two strokes. Megan Lee, your low Panther in that one with a 48 for Camp Point Central. Boys action today over at the U High Invite. Quincy Notre Dame finishes eighth out of 18 teams. Reese Dreyer leading the way for the Raiders with a score of 80 there and a tennis score to pass along as well tonight as Palmyra beats Moberly 8-1.